What, what's your focus this week? Um, keep getting better. I mean, you know, um, it's really just about getting better every week. You've got to build off last week and the things that we've done. And as we've improved, um, you know, anytime you go on the road, you know that you got to have attention to detail. You got to have focus. Um, we, you know, we got to understand that we've got to be able to go in and and play physical and be able to put the fire out if it happens, and um, and and play for 60 minutes. So you know that's been our focus to be consistent and do the things that we got to do to win. And was it a would you say a big step in the right direction last week or a little small um, step? Or I think we're fine. I mean, you know, I mean, I think we did what we had to do. Um, thought guys played with energy. It was good to get some young guys in the game. Uh, I think that's the best part of playing, um, you know, in a, in a situation like that is, you know, a lot of guys work hard through spring and in the summer and allows you to play a lot of guys, uh, particularly in the fourth quarter. So um, I think that part of it's good. When you when you get a game like that and you do play a lot of guys in the fourth quarter, do you tend to see a guy maybe the next week in practice step it up even more because yeah. you got that action? Well, they know that they're, they can be calling up any time. You know, I think that's why it's good to play, you know, games like that early because guys, everybody works hard. It also allows you to evaluate players because you really don't ever know until they actually step on the field with the lights and things like that. Uh, we don't have preseason games, you know, so it allows us to um, um, to play a lot of guys, see where they are, to make evaluations and get guys reps as you move through the conference schedule. So I think it's a good thing. I think our guys uh, enjoyed it. I know it was good to see some of the young guys, you know, get in there and play. And I, I do think it helps practice. Anybody stand out? Last yeah, I thought week? D. Smith did a good job. You know, when he got in there, uh, he had a, he had a nice tackle. Uh, was certainly glad to see that. Um, you know, Hearns played a little bit more. Um, not necessarily in the fourth quarter, but played a little bit more overall and um, was solid in his performance. Uh, Drew Bailey did a nice job. So um, I think we just got to continue to work all the guys, but I, I was pleased with what we did. Uh, you know, in the last hour, you guys were probably on the field, didn't you? Mm -hmm. No, I don't even know. That they, they dismissed uh, Thornton, the running back right. from their team. Does that affect anything? No, nah, I mean, you know, they got, they've, they've got good players, and, um, you know, we're going to play with whoever they line up against us. and. You know, we'll just play. Um, they've done a good job to this date, and they've got a lot of good players, so they'll be fine. What have you seen from when you played them last year till now? What Jacoby Brissett is, has improved and has eliminated those mistakes he was making. What's he gotten better at? What have you seen on film? Well, he, he obviously knows. Um, you know, he knows where to throw the ball based upon the look. Um, he's not turning the ball over. Um, he's getting it to the right guy. He's obviously completing the ball at a high percentage. Um, and done an interception this year, uh, getting them in the right plays at the line of scrimmage and uh, managing the team. And then he makes plays. You know, he's a guy that's hard to tackle. So even when you do get a rush and things like that, he's a guy that can make a guy miss and it can extend the play to, um, to create, you know, advantage for them moving down the field. So he's obviously the leader of the team and he's done a good job. When guys make good decisions like that, how do you, how do you force them into bad decisions? Um, you know, you just got to understand that um, they're good players, um, they're competitive, and we've just got to play our techniques, our, our, our brand of ball, and uh, just see if we can find ways to disrupt you know, the offense, whether it's the run game, the pass game. Um, we just got to find ways to try to disrupt the guy. Any yeah. extra feather in the cap that you could be your, his first interception this year? No, I mean, we're just playing. I mean, you know, we always obviously want to get picks because it's turnovers, it creates field position. Um, so we're just going to play and um, and, and, and try to do the things that are going to allow us to win. And I think that obviously, you know, trying to find ways to, to not let him play as good as he's played to date is going to be key. And we understand he's a really good player and it's going to be a challenge. So we'll have to continue to work hard between now and Saturday. All the picks the last two years, does that become contagious? And guys feed off of one another when they get one, you think? Yeah, I mean, I think that they understand that. Um, well, first of all, I think they do a good job of understanding the system. They understand the um, the calls and the looks that you want to give, and um, then the reads based upon the route distribution, and then it's going to make a play on the ball, and that's what we've done a really good job of is making plays on the ball, and you know I think it's important that we continue to do that because when we create turnovers, it obviously increases our chances of winning, and it creates field position for the offense. So I think it's critical to continue to do that. It does. It is something that I think. It, it, it makes people, when you talk to them about, well, if you play it this way, here's where the ball's going. And I think that when they see it, you know, on tape on, you know, Sunday, they know that it can happen again next Saturday. So it, it does help practice. Why is their rushing attack so effective? They're good players. They're physical up front. Uh, they, um, they got downhill runners that are hard to tackle. 
Uh, they're multiple in their formations. Um, and they got good players. I mean, they do a good job up front. They're, they're, they're physical. They're downhill. They work well together as an offensive line. Um, their runners are downhill runners. Um, they um, they try to extend the pile. You know, they try to make a you know a three yard gain, a seven you know a, a five to seven yard gain. Um, and they got guys that when they get on the edge can get double digit runs, and uh, that's that's critical. So I think it's a combination of a little bit of everything, personnel, scheme, the players, and that kind of. I think it probably feeds off itself, meaning that they've had success with it and they're building on it. Remnants of a hurricane coming through. Does that affect yeah, your defense? What do you do? Really. You just, everybody's got to play in it. So if you if you got one, you got one. You just got to play. Does it give a defense advantage though at all? No, nah, I mean I think that's you know you can argue that both ways. I don't I don't think that um, it, it you can argue it gives us advantage. You can argue it gives them advantage. At the end of the day, everybody's got to play in it. So we got to play, and um, we got to find uh, you know ways to get stops, get our offense the ball, and. Uh, and uh, you know, get off the field and get a win. You were missing work on a soggy fielders or anything else that you guys do to prep for that kind of weather? N not really. You do got to check your cleats from the size, you know, the studs in them and things like that. But other than that, um, you, you're just gonna play. You know. You mentioned the young guys. Chayers made a couple of big plays and mm -hmm. the pick. Just talk about his progression. And I mean, it seems mm -hmm. to be he's getting more and more snaps. Yeah, I mean, well, Jair's a guy that's kind of played in every game early. You know, what I mean, so he's played in every game. Um, He's obviously a guy we look at as a major contributor. Um, you know, he, you know, you can argue as he start, yeah, because he's playing as much as everybody. Uh, I think he's a guy that gets better every week. He gets better in practice. He's a little bit of a sponge in the sense that the more he sees, the more he absorbs, which allows him to continue to make plays. Um, he's obviously shown up on special teams with his ability there. That shows his skill set. Uh, and from a defensive standpoint, you have those ball skills. You have that athletic ability. And he does have toughness. He's a guy that will come make a tackle, which is critical for a corner, particularly a boundary corner. Um, so I think that he's going to continue to do nothing but get better and be a you know productive player for us. What have you seen from Devontae Field so far, and what would you like to see from him? Yeah, well, I think number one is he's a guy that um, it really has worked hard to understand our defense and, and be a, um, a part of our team. And he's done a really good job of that. I thought he was a little more explosive last week. I thought he had a little better feel. Um, he was a little more sudden in the sense that he was playing fast. So I think the biggest thing for him is to continue to work to play fast and um, find ways to affect the game, whether it's, you know, with tackle for losses on early downs or getting after the quarterback on passing downs and things like that. And I think that'll all come. I think that, um, you know, in, in some of the early games, the ball was getting out kind of quick and there wasn't as many pass attempts. So I think as we move forward through the season, those opportunities are going to be there. And I think he'll take advantage of them. Okay. Yeah.